Hello YouTube, Chester Boyer, and welcome to my two-parter finale of the Mugen Gatsai series line. Yes, and and you can tell from you can tell what is part why two parts of me ask because M this combination called Mugen General Seven has two modes, a robot mode and an animal mode. So so for part one we're gonna take a look at his robot mode, and of course Mugen General Seven, Mugen General Seven is composed of these seven figures: Erleon, Bill Giraffe, Carry Eagle, Sword Elephant, Dig Kong. Eva Rhinos and Fang Tiger. So, without let's not waste any time. Let's begin. Okay, so we're gonna start from bottom to the top. So we're gonna start with making the feet of Mugen General Seven. So you're gonna need built the Bill Giraffe Mugenroid and the Carry Eagle Mugenroid. These two part these two parts from Erleon, This piece from Fang Tiger and these three pieces from Eva Rhinos. So we're gonna start with the Mugenroids. So. Just pretty much just put them into its cube form. Just like that. And we're gonna face them forward like this. Same with Carry Eagle. You can just be careful with that arm over there. And fold, fold the legs in. And there we go. That's done. And then we can go ahead and plug Fang Tiger's head on the front of the, the um, yellow Mugenroid. Just like that. And for Care Eagle, put this piece up front, put the rhino head on like that. And, oh wait, actually, no, wait a minute, wrong way. Okay, turn it like this, and then twist it, and then put the um, drill on the top of the rhino head. So we got that. I'm gonna take these piece, this piece right here, plug it onto the side like this, see on the other. And there you have the feet of Mugen General 7. All right, so next we're gonna make the legs and lower torso. All right, so take the Mugenroid, fold the, fold the head down, fold the arms in, and we're gonna bend the legs up from the knee, so just like that. And yes, you can go ahead and pluck this on top, so. All right, now for the build, now build giraffe's legs. Um, so you're gonna put the ones that have caution stripes on them, and you're putting them below um, onto this peg right here. So, and the the hole you're gonna use is this one right here. My thumb was pointing at. So, just like that. Same the other, just like that. And take these two other Bill Giraffe legs. The well, take the second pair of um, Bill Giraffe's legs, and we're gonna use the same hole as these two. So. So just like that. And then we can go ahead and bring in the feet that we just made. And you use these two pet these two holes underneath here. They'll plug onto these two pegs. So plug one on this side and plug this one on the other. And there you have the legs of Mugajaro 7. Next we use these three, these three pieces from Zord Elephant. So we go ahead and fold them out like this. Actually, we'll okay. We'll flip it upside down, fold them down, and make the arms just like you would for Zord Elephant's robot mode. And then we we'll go ahead and bring this piece in. Let's go ahead and fold these down just to make it give an easier look. And also make sure you flip out this peg right there. So just like that. And then go ahead and fold the Luganroid legs back up make the M. And remember these were the elephant ears of Zora Elephant's ammo mode? Well, these, these are going to simply plug onto the side of what were Mugenroy, the Mugenroid's legs. So, so we've got some chest armor going on. Alright, so. Alright, so you're going to need these pieces. Now you're going to these two pieces from Erleon. These, four, these three pieces from Fang Tiger. This piece from Carrie Eagle. This piece from Bill Giraffe. And these two parts from Dig Kong. So we're gonna get we're gonna set these these three off to the side. We're gonna focus on this. So take this piece from Fang Tiger, put it on the side like that, put this piece on top, and then plug Bill Giraffe's head and neck onto the onto the bottom and make sure you full put down the um giraffe's antennae. So just like that. See on the other side, plug this on top, and plug the plug the carry eagle head underneath. And you got that done. And then we can go ahead. And plug 
um, this piece, actually I'm bringing the camera up. Oh. And this is gonna plug onto the side like this. And do the same in the other. Um, and bear with me, and ignore all the uh, construction um, noise and go noises going on in the back there. So don't worry about that, it's probably not that loud. But anyway, now we're gonna take the head of Early on and gonna plug it onto the chest. So, simple as that. And if you want, you can look, you can open the mouth if you want, but we're gonna leave it closed for now. All right, now th remember these two pieces I got from Dick Kong? Well, this is gonna this is gonna go underneath this arm right here, just like that. Oh boy, this is getting a little unstable. But. And then I'm gonna take one of the claw hands of Dick Kong, which is this, and you're simply just gonna plug it underneath here. All right, guys, I'm almost done. <laughs> um, okay. And last but and actually we're gonna make the backpack. All right, now we're gonna make the backpack. So you're gonna need this piece from Zord Elephant, these two from Fang Tiger, and these two from Carrie Eagle. So we're gonna take these two um, Fang Tiger pieces and plug them onto the side like this. And take what were the wings of Carrie Eagle and use this this hole, and, and that's gonna go into this peg right here. So just like that. Okay. Just like that. It should be at a certain angle like that. Okay, so that's that. That's one part of the backpack. Now I'm gonna bring these pieces, this piece from Dig Kong and these two from Carry Eagle. And then, and simply flip this upside down and then plug these two pieces on the side, like this. And you can go ahead and plug this on top of this, like that. All right. And now we're gonna bring these, these three pieces in, one from Carry Eagle and the two drill bits from from Energy Rhinos. You can flip the drills up like that. And they're simply gonna, you can flip this like behind like this, and you're gonna take these two drill pieces and plug them onto the side like this. Okay, that's that. Now let's bring in this guy. And the, the hole you're gonna use to plug in this is this, the top one, so just like this. So just plug it on the back like that, so. Actually, actually, okay, use the middle one right there, so. Okay, so just like that. And go ahead and take this piece right here that we just constructed. And this is gonna simply plug on top like this. All right, come on. Uh, there we go. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, we're almost there, we're almost there. And that's, we're gonna need, we're gonna need the head and, uh, we're gonna need the head and gun and weapon. So, so take Zord Elephant's head, fold that down, flip the horn out, and plug it into onto the top like that. And if you want to, you can go ahead and plug Zord Elephant's gun in if you would if you want to. All right, just get it in there. I think just spin it out a little bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there you have the official combination of Mugen General 7. Now, now, like I said before in my other combination videos of the um, of the video series of Mugen Bind that I made, um, the number in the combination is basically relates to the amount of Mugen Roids involved in that combination, like, like Mugen General 3. He, that combination used three Mugen Roids. Now this one is a bit of an odd one. It's basically the... Uh, Despite this combination being involved with um, one, two, three Mugenroids, um, the seven is pre is obviously just the um, the am amount of figures involved in this combination. That being again, uh, trying to bend this arm. <sighs> yeah, I know this. <laughs> it's a clustered mess. I mean, <laughs> yeah. So um, bear with me on this, but, but, but hey, it's Mugenbine. What can you do? I mean, now I said about this um seventh thing. Um, it's basically just the amount of figures involved in this combination. It's not, despite you know this figure having this combination being involved with one, well, okay, despite with one, two, three Mugenroids involved. So, so the seven being Erlion, Bill Giraffe, 
Carry Eagle, Dig Kong, Eva Rhinos, Fang Tiger, and Zord Elephant. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah, the combination does like a cluster me a cluster mess, I mean, a cluster F bomb, if you want to say, but it that's this is how Mugen Bai works, okay? I mean, <laughs> and this is the fun, and this is from Bondi. I mean, it's not my version of it, it's just the because this is apparently the final combination, really, so. Yeah. Now, yes, since this is Mugabon, you can create your own final combination. Well, I actually found two pictures on the internet from a Japanese website where this guy actually used all the remaining parts of Erleon and the rest that I mentioned. Of course, these, of course, here, and speaking of that, here are the spare parts. Yep, these are the spare parts of the combination. Yep, so. Now, like I said before, there's actually two pictures I found on the internet where there's basically a perfect robot mode and there's a perfect, in quotes, animal mode, which I will get to that soon. So, now that's good. Now, Mugi General, now this could be a part two of this, which is basically I'm going to take a look at his animal mode. So, so what you're, what you're looking at is his robot, perfect, is, no, sorry, robot mode. So, this is Mugi General 7 robot mode. So, so, yeah. Um, so, I will put the links in the description for the, um, the perfect version of the robot mode that this guy made that I found on the internet, which I will post a link to it. Don't worry. And yes, you can actually recreate that. So, so yeah. Um, so stay tuned for part two of Mugen General 7. So, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon next to it. If you want to follow my Twitter link my Facebook page, the links are down below in the description. So, I'll catch you next time.